For this problem, we need to determine whether V lies in the span of V1 and V2. Uh, v is 5, 6, 7, V1 is 1, 0, minus 1, and V2 is 1, 2, 3. What this basically means is that can we get V from a linear combination of V1 and V2? Um, so we can set that up to look like this, where we have a constant A multiplied by V1. Uh, plus a constant b multiplied by v2. Equaling 5, 6, 7. Now I've written it this way just so it, it basically looks like a system of linear equations. Um, and we can solve it the same way that we do um, solve a system with a matrix and using gauss jordan elimination. Um, so just dropping out these constants, I'm going to write it all as one matrix. Um, so we want to get this into our REF form so we can have solutions for A and B. Um, so going through our gauss jordan elimination, um, I can add these first and third rows because this one and this, this, one, and this minus one are going to cancel out. Um, and I'm also going to divide this row by two so I can get a one right here. So I'll have one half row two and row three plus row one. So 1, 1, 5, 0, 1, 3, and 0, 3 plus 1 is 4, 7 plus 5 is 12. Um, okay, so row 3 is now uh, a factor of row 2, just row 2 multiplied by 4 equals row 3. Um, so I can eliminate row 3 just by subtracting out um, this row. And at the same time, I also want to subtract row 2 from row 1 um, in order to get a 0 in this spot. Um, so I have 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and 5 minus 3 is 2. Yeah, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 0. So there's my solid matrix. Here I see that A equals 2 and B equals 3. Let's just make sure that that works. Um, going back to here. Um, 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1. That is indeed 6. I mean 5. Sorry. Uh, 2 times 0 plus 3 times 2 is 6. And 2 times minus 1 plus 3 times 3. That's minus 2 plus 9. 9 minus 2 is indeed 7. That was weird. All right. Um, so we found these constants 2 and 3. So V does indeed lie in the span of V1 and V2, and we have verified it.